Alrighty. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Ben Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino. You right here have Average Troll Murica. We have this beer that the troll brought up. This is Belching Beaver Brewery's Peanut Butter Flavored Milk Stout. Oh, that's peanut butter flavored? I didn't even read that. Find some shit. So, um, you guys can't see it from over there, but that actually looks like a woman's vagina. Right this, before it comes. This is accurate in many ways. Yeah, anyway. So, back here, I'm not going to read everything, but I like this, okay? Ingredients. Water, malt, oats, lactose, hops, yeast, ethyl alcohol, and natural flavors. I can't wait. <laughs> ethyl alcohol is one of the ingredients. So, did the yeast just not work and you just added pure alcohol? Like, what the fuck? Uh, I, 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 sure. It's only 5.3. No, but look. Yeast, ethyl alcohol, and natural flavors. So what they're saying on this is that they actually added alcohol. Not the yeast yeah, did it for yeah, them. I they added it. I don't know. But you're right, 5.3% alcohol. I, I don't know what if they brew it at like 2% and they're like, oh, fuck, hang on. You know, I don't, I don't know. The hell's on the thing? Be careful. I do, I will say that uh, we've had a lot, a lot of different peanut butter uh, stouts and porters and stuff lately. And a peanut butter milk stout just sounds really appeasing. You know, because it should, the lactose and the oat should give you a nice creamy mouthfeel. Am I right? You are right. Am yep. I right? Oh, boy. All right. All right, this, uh... Bro, who's cleaning the glasses? Bro, who's cleaning the glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Aaron, who always dogs at Ewart's glasses, but... No, oh, I almost spilled it. All right. Yeah, so, I don't know. <laughs> it, just, it, it doesn't matter, really, does it? Oh, it's fucking water spots. That's what the water... That's I, what the, the beer's catching on. It's not soap residue oh, or anything like that, because you have your head. <laughs> oh, I do. Yeah, nice head. Yeah, nice, beautiful dark. head. D dark well, head. You have dark a, I don't really have a head. My, my head's kind of like a... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, smell the bottle. Oh. The bottle is straight up uh, Reese's Pieces cereal. Oh, my God. You, no, 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 you always say that, right? Like, we've had the, like, I don't know, we've had, like, four or five peanut, beers, peanut butter beers. This, this literally smells like, like yep. that cereal. Even with the milk. The milk has been... Oh, you know, this this smells bowl. exactly like the milk. It, the cereal was sitting in the milk. You ate all the cereal, and this is the milk. Oh, that is the best out of every peanut butter beer I've had so far. Best smelling one out of the bottle. Out of the glass, you do get that, but it's... Yeah, it's, it's, it's more faint. Now it's yeah. like you just opened up the box of cereal, and you're sniffing the yeah. dry cereal. Way more subdued and subtle. Yeah. Huh. Smells good. Let's try it. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Smells better than it tastes. But it still isn't bad. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> you handed me a glass of this and said, what do you think this is? I wouldn't tell you it was a peanut butter milk stout in the least. It's not bad, per se. It's just not what I'd imagine being advertised here, which is a peanut butter milk stout. Right. Well, it's but it's naturally flavored, right? Or what does it say on it? Flavored. It's a flavored milk stout. I don't know. It's not bad. Well, for the most part, any peanut butter beer you're going to get is a flavored mm -hmm. beer. Unless you're putting peanuts in there and you're trying to roast them and somehow get it. But every time I get that, it always tastes like boiled peanuts. Things working for this. It's creamy. The oats and the lactose, nice sweetness, nice creamy mouthfeel. Very easy to I drink. I almost think there's a little too much lactose because it's a little too sweet. It is that, yeah. I mean, we sharing this beer right now? Good thing we're sharing this beer right now. Um, we could even get another couple people involved because it's going to be tough to put this entire thing down. Now what's it taste like to me? Yeah. It tastes like um, it tastes like the cereal. It does taste like Reese's Pieces cereal. It smelt so much better. 
But, I mean, it tastes like the cereal, but as a stout, no, it's it's so watery. You're getting a, a, a peanut butter flavor, like, grain. Why am I ignoring him, YouTube? Because Mama's up there. Yeah. <laughs> it is a, uh, you're getting the, the peanut butter flavored grain. You're getting the lacto sweetness. It is a bit roasty. But that sweetness kind of just dominates everything for me. I mean, it, it is kind of too sweet. And, uh... It's not bad at all. It's just, it's it's it's, it's just too sweet and too thin. That's really all it, my problems are. What are we doing? Shout out a ball? A bit thin? No, it's not a bit thin. It's <laughs> it's a lot thin. Yeah, this is like if he was here and said that, I would say you for the first time in your life are on spot ball, but you're not. Yeah. Um, th this would be much better served in like three to four ounce samples as opposed to like. The 11 ounces we each are having right now. Uh, it's a bit too sweet. Well, yeah, and you know what? If you, if you only had a three or four ounce sample, you'd probably think this was great. Yeah, it, it's the more you drink of it, the sweeter it gets. The more you're getting that grainy bitterness on the background, the more you're realizing that the lactose is just taking over. Yeah, now, now the backtrack, I did say it, it, it did have a nice mouth, a nice, a nice mouthfeel. Uh, it did have a nice mouthfeel, but it is thin. I, I will say that that kind of detracts from the mouthfeel, but it, it is creamy, it is smooth. It adds to the overall appeal to the beer for me, but it definitely is thin. It's 5.3%, though. I mean, I I would like to see, like, an imperial version of this, just to see what if they could amp up the, the, the viscosity and get, get to a level where it does have not only the creaminess and the smoothness, but the proper... You know, well, thickness. you know what, just that, if they, could, if they could amp up the viscosity, it would really be the proper style. And, I mean... <sighs> Dial back the lactose just a touch to take a little bit of sweet. Actually, you know what? If you imperialed this, this would probably be the right amount of lactose because it would fight away the alcohol taste. It's just, yeah, I mean, it, for me, I, you know, when, when I first got into craft beer, I liked the sweeter beers. And as I, you know, go on and try a bunch of different styles and whatnot, I got to the point where I can't really drink sweet beers, like entire bombers. And this is one I couldn't. It's definitely way too sweet, I think, for the normal craft beer drinker. Now, for me personally, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. As a milk stout, I'd probably give it a 5. Fucking two score on me, bro. Two score on me, bro. I'm gonna choke you out, big boy! I just had to do it because you guys have run with that joke lately. But, you know, uh, overall 7 for me. I think I like it. Necessarily wouldn't buy it again. And I wholeheartedly apologize for DJ for sending this extra in the beer mail I just sent to him. I'm sure he'll love it, though. Yeah, thank you very much, YouTube. Cheers. Goodbye. Turn off. Yes, please. Bing, bing. I don't know why I did that then. Holy fuck. Shit.